welcome to Knit Pug. Uh, I'm Carrie, also known as Jada Knitter, and it is Sunday the something of December. I think it's the 6th. I don't know. Um, actually tell me. Yes, it's the 6th. Uh, I will explain the wonky scheduling later. We'll get to the knitting first. Um, you can find me as Jaded Knitter on uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Ravelry. And you can find us, the us, uh, on, hello, Apparently I'm a jungle gym today. Um, you can find us on YouTube, iTunes, and on our blog, which is knitpug.com. Hi. I love you too. Uh, <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, oh, and word of warning, there won't be any show notes, probably for the rest of December. Because, yeah. I'll get to that. So this is, I don't have a faux at the moment, so I'm pulling out an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this is the, I think it's the geometric triangle? Shaped triangle. And it's by, uh, the design is by Katie Nagorni, I think. And I love this. This is one of my go-to shawls that goes with everything because it's, you know, jean blue. Uh, the lighting has really changed in here. I'm facing a complete, this beige stuff back here is actually my windows. So that's why it's looking a little weird. Because the corner I usually knit in is not accessible at the moment. So this is the, the faux. I'm trying to remember when I finished this. Uh, when did I get this? 2012. Apparently I finished it for my birthday that year. Um, like I said, it's one of my go-to shawls for wearing with whatever. Um, so that's all the faux I have. I haven't gotten a whole lot of knitting done. Uh, I did get some knitting done, so I've got one of the new pattern of mitts done. Um, these are the, the mitts to match the Diamond at Dusk uh, hat, and well, it's all done except for the thumb just because I haven't charted the thumb out yet, and I always do them last anyway. Um, and I'm almost to the end of the thumb gusset on the second mitt, so I'm here-ish. On the second mitt. Um, and those, uh, I didn't write down what I'm doing, I'm out of. The white is Cascade Heritage sock yarn, and the purple is Lorna's Laces sock, I believe. So that's the, the purple. I'm hoping you can actually see the color. And the white's well white. So yeah, I have test knitters all lined up for it and I'm sorry guys that I haven't gotten the pattern out yet. Things have gone a little sideways. In a good way, but they've gone sideways and knitting has not gotten done, let alone getting on my computer. <laughs> um, so the only other thing that I've got currently on the needles being worked on is my standard toe up uh, short row heel sock. And that is out of, it is the Black Lamb, is the wool. Um, they are local-ish to me. They are a local uh, Ontario dyer. Um, I think they're from Southern Ontario, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I know it's down towards the Toronto area or past, so yeah, Southern Ontario. And I picked that up a couple of years ago at Twist, which is our local fiber fest. Uh, over in the, the boondocks of uh, Quebec. 
you have anything to add? No? Okay. Uh, what else have we got? I, ha I have stash. I have stash enhancements. Um, the first one is from Abbey Goods, which is from Scottsburn, Nova Scotia. Uh, which is close to where I'm originally from because I'm from Halifax and I sold a lot of family back there um, And this is actually from my aunt. Hello Adele. I love it. It's squishy um, So she sent me this which is wonderful wonderful. It's a 80-20 merino nylon uh, sock yarn in a wonderful kind of lime and dark greens and almost an acid green too and I love it. I have no idea what I'm going to make with it yet but I will think of something. There will be something made because it's soft and squishy. Um, <laughs> the other thing I did is our very own Janet who's the fiberholic who's been my co-host for the last couple of episodes um, had a sale on yarn and yeah, striped socks. There might have been, I might have gone over and, and hunted through her stash myself. <laughs> Jan had me over for dinner. Um, so there is yarn. You will see these knit up probably in the not too distant future. So yeah, if you haven't gone to check them out, go check out Crazy Dog Yarns on Etsy. Uh, cause yeah, they're soft, they're squishy and they're stripey and I love me some striped sock yarn. Um, that's actually it. That's all the knitting because there isn't a whole lot else. Well, there isn't a whole lot else going on in the knitting end of things. Um, like I said, life has gone a little wonky. Um, so the podcast schedule is going to go very wonky for probably the next month. I am potentially moving. I am potentially moving to Southern Ontario, just five and a half hours from here. Uh, <laughs> so the reason why my knitting corner is inaccessible is because it's piled with boxes because I'm currently packing. I hate packing. Let me rephrase that. I hate packing and unpacking and so I'm trying to go through all of my stuff, get what I want to take packed and get rid of everything else. Um, so I'm doing a massive, massive clean out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I'm probably not gonna be, I'll be around next weekend and I'm hoping to be able to podcast. Um, last weekend was, I found out about this on the Thursday. Last weekend was an absolute scramble to start to get things ready. Um, because I have to do things like give notice for first of the month and possibly secure an apartment. Uh, <laughs> which I'm going to look at not next weekend, but the weekend after. So the weekend of the tw Sunday, the 20th, uh, Christmas weekend and then New Year's weekend are likely all a wash. Um, because as it stands right now, I'm moving between Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> so I can't guarantee that I will have internet right away on the other end of things. So we'll see. I will try my best, but yeah. there. W I'm just gonna say it right now. There is not gonna be any show notes between now and sometime in January when all of this gets resolved. Um, so if you want to know what something is on the show, let me know. Just PM me. I answer PMs. I'm rather behind at the moment, but I do eventually answer you. <laughs> or post it in the group because chances are someone else can answer it for me. <laughs> and, you know, uh, we still have a couple of cowls going on. We've got the Hint of Cold Cowl, uh, which I will have prizes for. I will not have prizes for it until January at this point because 
yeah, not happening. Um, so I'll lock the thread come January 1st and, um, sorry, I forgot to take his tags off. Um, I'll lock the thread January 1st and do, do up prizes after, on an episode after that. Um, basically all you have to do is just post a finished object. Everyone gets one entrance into it. Um, you know, one name in the hat. Okay, one name in the Excel spreadsheet because that's the way I roll. Um, but yeah, uh, and then there is still the uh, Hitfude Cal going on. And where is... I meant to grab it. Give me two seconds. I will be right back. And back. That took more like five minutes. That's the wonderful thing about recording is I can just cut out that section. Actually, I stopped the camera, so works even better. Um, so yeah, and of course you can't really see it because I'm sitting really low on something. So this is the, the Hitofood, or Hitofude. I'm no longer sure how to pronounce it. And this is the other cow that's going on until the end of the month. I love mine. Um, yeah, it doesn't work so well over my my sheep pajamas, because yes, today is a pajama day. <laughs> I'm packing, I'm not getting dressed. Um, so yeah, that's the other cowl. And then of course there's the perpetual lace cowl, which I'm going to just right now duck out of because, well at this point I've already packed Insanity and I'm not starting a lace project while in the middle of a move. Not happening. Uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, there's that. Oh, and there is the gift along. Uh, we are doing a pattern gift along, uh, and the patterns will be gifted between uh, December 26th and December 31st. So you have a week, and you just need to sign up by. I'm actually going to extend it to the 19th, sign up by then, so before I record on the 20th, and I will post in the forums, eh, no barking, um, I will post in the forums who everyone's partner is, or mm, I might PM you, I think I'm doing this as a secret Santa type thing. So I'll PM you all with who this is. Um, luckily I will still be in Ottawa at that point and still have internet. Hello. Come on. Um, I'm actually sitting on his cushion. So. So that's about it. So sign up for that if you want. It's going to be, um, patterns up to $10 US. Uh, is the maximum and you can do one pattern or you, or you can do several and uh, your choices are to either have people pick from the first page just the first page of your uh, queue or from your wish list um, so it's also a good incentive to get those things updated I finally updated mine today uh, yeah, so go sign up for that, and that's about it. I think we're done for today. Back to packing. There are days I kind of wish I could just check it all out, get in a car, drive there, and just pick up what I need when I get there, but that's not happening. So packing it is. <laughs> Bye.